So I get uh, I get this message from Rome going, we want you to come and speak to our, at us at our TEDx. And I'm going, this is really cool. So then uh, I work with the, because I had an idea what I wanted to talk about. And so I get in touch with the curator there and we have a couple of chats putting together my talk. And I have this idea about robots and machines and how machines actually can make us more human. And uh, I go down and when I get there, they go, we've changed the schedule. And I'm going, oh no, they've kicked me out. And I said, no, the thing is we want you to open the whole show. So suddenly I'm like the keynote opening speaker of the whole TEDx Roma, which is like the, one of the biggest TEDx's in the world. So cool, so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I do the talk, everything is great. Um, I think uh, people seem to like it. They applauded and, and uh, everything. Come home and then they start publishing the talks online. Mine isn't published. So it turns out that I use a film clip in my talk. And they and then Ted, um, they start saying, you know, you're not allowed to use this film clip because it's uh, proprietary material. And I'm going, yeah, but you know, I kind of I know what I'm doing. I kind of work with proprietary helping startups with their IPR. So I've of course I've cleared everything with Studio Canal. Here's the contract. And they said, We don't believe you. Uh, so we've been going frontwards and backwards for almost two months now. But finally now, last week, uh, I had Canal uh, Studio Canal. We signed, we sent them over the, all the paperwork and the talk is now cleared for showing with all of the content intact. Of course, I had cleared all of the content before I did the talk. What do they think? Who do they think I am? I, I mean, work with this stuff for Christ's sake. Yes, we've really got to walk our talk. Exactly, Avanti. I mean, that's the whole point. The whole point I'm trying to make is that we cannot wait for something else to shape the world for us. We are the world and we need to be a part of shaping it. We are the system. And in another talk I gave, in another panel I gave, when people were standing there blaming the system, and I was saying, but hang on a minute, you are the system, you're part of the system. If you want to change the system, you have to do something about it. And I really, really feel strongly when it comes to what's happening now online and in everything that we're seeing, we need to step up and be the better example for these infants that are now growing up. We need uh, to be, uh, yeah, we need to be better parents for this. Here as well, I saw you speak first time. Love the way you explain the danger aspect of IA. Thank you very much. Yes, there is the thing, any technology, anything, any technology is not inherently good or bad. It's, as I said, it's the us humans that have a tendency to uh, corrupt things. And I just hope that we can muster enough good forces in this new emerging world that we see around ourselves um, to actually influence it in a hopefully better direction. You know, as you, as you all know, starting now, uh, the first Wednesday every month, I'll be doing an AMA session, Ask Me Anything session, but that won't be a guest, there will only be me and you and our dialogue together. So maybe for the one in May or in June, we can do one specifically on uh, on AI. Uh, here, Vida. Uh, yes, of course. Thank you. What's a good question? Uh, I want to share that with my yes. It's no. It's available on YouTube. Go to YouTube, everyone. Go to YouTube. Uh, search for um, TEDx Roma. Just search for TEDx Roma Doni on YouTube. It will come up. And go. Please go to see it. On, don't watch it on LinkedIn. Watch the original recorded talk on YouTube because it will give me more views. Ah. <laughs>